spouse in the game, are there teaching points or do you try to make sure guys forget it? How do you go about that? Teaching points? Yeah. Catch the ball. I mean. Yeah. Well, guys, it's pretty much that simple. As you saw in the intro, Doug Peterson pretty much couldn't have said it any better. Reporter comes at him with a dumbass question like that, asking, are there any teaching points that go into talking to the wide receivers after they have a game like this where they drop every single pass? Or do you just tell them to move on? Teaching points? the hell is a teaching point? Just catch the damn ball. Pretty much sums up the last two games, you guys. Seven drops. Seven bad drops. Not just receiver just didn't catch the ball. It was bad. And I mean bad, bad. You can go to Twitter and go to uh, watch Brian Baldinger break, break down this film. You know, Carson Wentz is putting the ball exactly where it needs to be. He's the only guy that shows up. He and Malcolm Jenkins are the only people on this team that are showing up to games. All right? We need the whole team to show up to games. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is tough. This is a tough game that we're going into. This is a tough team that we're going in to play. In their state. Primetime. Night game. Pretty much everyone in the world. Well not everyone in the world. Because obviously some people don't care about the NFL. But most people. Most NFL fans are going to be watching this game Thursday night. Alright. All eyes are on Carson Wentz. And the Philadelphia Eagles. What are they going to do about it? We've seen this same thing happen before. Where. Team gets beat, team finds ways to lose, team shoots himself in the foot. Hell, we're we're staring at one and three right now. What are we gonna do about it? Are we gonna just sit sit there and take it? Are we gonna pull some shit off like we did a year ago? Last season, rather. Um, not exactly a year ago, but last still last season in December. After losing the second meeting to the Dallas Cowboys, yeah, you have a couple really hard games that you got to win to even have a chance to get a wild card spot. You really do. Um, and that game, that first game following the loss to Dallas, was at the Rams. All right? And we were very injured. We had a lot of young players in our secondary, young players who emerged into. Some really good guys. Avante Maddox and Craven LeBlanc being the main two. And this Eagles team went into Los Angeles and they beat the Rams again. Rams were the uh, number two seed that year. They went to the Super Bowl. And we walked in there like it was nothing. And we handed them a loss. Well, I'm here to tell you right now. This team is capable of doing that to the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers... I mean, they're a good football team. They're a good football team. Um, but what do we know about Green Bay? Green Bay is winning. They're winning games because of their defense. It's very, very different than what we're accustomed to seeing. Um, the Green Bay Packers offense does not put up a lot of yards. They do not put up a lot of points. Um, period. Period. They, uh, they have, like, one of the... They have, their scoring offense is about 23rd in the league. Um, you know, so they don't score a lot of points, obviously. Um, I don't know where they're passing off. Their passing offense is actually, like, near the bottom. It's around 27th, I believe, last time I looked. Um, but period, this Green Bay Packers offense has not really, you know, killed. Like, Aaron Rodgers hasn't torn anybody apart yet. He may tear us apart, but I got to believe we we can make things happen in this game. Um, it's going to start with Doug Peterson. You, Doug Peterson, you got to rally these troops, man, and you got to 
come up with a good game plan. Well, what do we got to do to do that? Well, the Green Bay Packers are 25th against the run. They give up over 130 yards rushing per game. All right, you want to take pressure off of Carson Wentz? You want to take pressure off of these, of these receivers? You can't catch the damn football? Run it down their throats and keep Aaron Rodgers off the field, control the clock. You'll win this game. So, Alshon Jeffrey could play. We don't know yet. We're going to uh, keep our eyes on that. It's more likely that Alshon, it's a lot more likely actually, that Alshon is going to play on Thursday night uh, than it is for Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson probably won't play until, you know, we play the New York Jets the following week, the following Sunday. So, if we're able to get Alshon back out there, though, that's going to be a huge boost. To the, I said the same thing last week. We get Dallas Goddard and we get Alshon Jeffrey back. It's going to be a huge boost. We got Dallas Goddard back now, so it's time to get Alshon back. If Alshon is able to go, Carson Wentz will be comfortable enough to throw the ball down the field because he knows he can count on Alshon. He knows most times Alshon, if he just throws that ball up to Al, Alshon's going to be there. He's going to go up and get it. Don't really have that. Um, J.J. Ortega Whiteside, he pretty much had an Alshon type of opportunity down there on that 4th and 15. Uh, and he touches the ball. He, he, he hits the ball right in his hands. Carson Wentz could not have thrown a better pass. And J.J. Ortega Whiteside just drops it. Just drops the game. These guys got to step up. We need Alshon back. We need all our receivers back. We need Deshaun Jackson back. And we'll start rolling. But we can get this one here. Make no mistake about it. Green Bay's due for a loss. They're not going 16 0. They're a good football team. They're not good enough to go 16 0. They are due for a loss. And when you turn around and you have these Thursday games, you don't always have the best preparation going into them. Because you're on a short week, you just, it's very hard to, you know, have a game plan for Sunday and then turn around and have a game plan for Thursday. When it comes to coaching, I'm riding with Doug Peterson over Matt LaFleur. Matt LaFleur is a rookie head coach. This is a big game. Um, and we need to win more than he does. So I think Doug is going to say all the right things, do all the right things this week, preparing for Green Bay. And call me crazy, but the Philadelphia Eagles are going to walk out of Green Bay with a win. We're going to be 500 with 10 days to rest, possibly getting our guys back with an injured New York Jets team coming in our house the following Sunday. And then it'll be time to go. This is your host of the most, Billy Jim. And that was my Philadelphia Eagles versus Detroit Lions preview. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Go Birds. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. Ah